as we welcome you to Weingart Stadium on the campus of East Los Angeles College in Monterey Park, California. It's the East LA College Huskies against the Cerritos College Falcons. Thankful and grateful you could join us for some Thursday night Juco football. I'm Dan Gudino, really thankful and grateful you could join us. This is actually a rescheduled game which was supposed to take place last Saturday due to COVID related issues on the Cerritos end. And that's uh, as reported by our sports information officer, Sirwin D. Haynes. So here we are five days later. It's week five and both teams are, they're gonna scratch and crawl for a win. Both teams coming in with two straight losses for East LA after being ranked as high as number 17. They're going into this week now two and two. They find themselves outside the top 25 after losing two straight games. Now they're ranked at number 26. And so East Los Angeles will be receiving. Cerritos will be booting it from east to west. Cerritos in their all white road uniforms, navy blue numbers, navy blue helmets, navy blue pinstripes down the trunks. East LA in their all gray home uniforms, forest green helmets, white numbers. 68 degrees at this start. Completely clouded, overcast skies, and we are underway for some Thursday night Juco football. It'll be Richards from his own 15 yard line and he gets popped out of bounds. Just inside the 25 where East LA will start. The East LA offense has a lot of ground to make up. Their first loss came on the road at San Diego Mesa where it was exposed on offense, only able to put up two touchdowns. And then the defense allowed 28 points in the first half to Mesa, finishing in a 37 to 23 Mesa victory here. They'll start in a four wide receiver set bunch. Thup, and it's Mason who will go straight down the gut and will pick up possibly four to the 29 yard line. Just underway from East Los Angeles College at Weingart Stadium. This was a rescheduled game, was supposed to take place on Saturday, last Saturday, but here we are five days later. No final word was given as far as why Cerritos had to reschedule. We all know COVID was the issue. That's all we know. As Garcia picks up a yard on the keeper, that'll bring up third and four now from the 30 yard line. After the Mesa loss in San Diego, the road trip continued against Saddleback College where East LA had a 19 to zero, zero lead into the half and later was skunked 30 to zero in the second half, a 30 to 19 final. Garcia throws left, incomplete. Kobe Stribling was the guy who was not able to reel it in for East LA. We got a discussion by the officiating crew though. Personal foul, face mask against Cerritos. So that will give East LA its first, first down at the 1336 mark of this first quarter. So the officiating crew is still discussing. Here we go, we got a correction, personal foul against 
East LA, actually. So not so fast. So I guess the face mask, wherever it was on the field, was against East LA, not against Cerritos. So they'll repeat third down. It'll be third and 20 from their own 15 at the 13-36 mark of this first quarter. So the pressure is on East LA to get back to winning ways. Garcia, screen. Cerritos eats it up instantly and that'll bring out the special teams units for the first time. So there's no place like home for East LA and in the head coach Bobby Godinez era, the Huskies are 16 and six at home. They're 11 and 12 on the road. This one gets boots booted. Fair catch called at the 48 yard line. Cerritos will come out on offense. So both teams have really struggled on offense. Both teams combined have been shut out for a total of eight quarters thus far. So the Falcons and the Huskies will go at it. This is the Thursday night installment of SportsNetUSA.net. Live coverage of Huskies football. Cerritos will start on the ground and pick up about three yards into Husky territory. That was Jalon Manning with the carry. Cerritos, like East Los Angeles, operates with a two quarterback system. Getting the, the nod will be Cade McConnell, the product from Los Alamitos. They'll operate from the 49, four wide. McConnell fires, complete. That's Noah Sanchez, who might be just short of the first down yard marker. Picking up seven there. Third and one at the 12.04 mark. If you're asking, I'm Dan Gudino. Really thankful and grateful you could join us for this Thursday night installment of Huskies football. This was a rescheduled game. It was supposed to take place last Saturday. Here we are five days later. Still week five of the football season. Makano from a pistol set. Double tight ends, high snap. They'll keep it on the ground, get the first down, and they'll lunge over past the 40 yard line. That was Davon Booth with the carry. Cerritos is actually looking forward to cleaning up their play last week or rather two weeks ago on their first play from scrimmage, freshman quarterback Meccano fumbled the ball on the first play as a big run on the right side by Cerritos. Excellent pickup by Manning, pickup of six there across the 35. So much cleaner start for Cerritos here. Already in Husky territory at the 10.45 mark of this first quarter. Cerritos breaking out of the huddle. Such a rarity nowadays in all of football for any team to huddle up. Here a bunch formation out of the gun. They'll keep it on the ground, around the edge. Decent pickup, but a Flag in the backfield. We'll wait and see what that's about. Defense, 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 defense. 
So an illegal procedure against Cerritos. That'll back him up. Ball now at the 47. It'll be second and forever now. Shotgun set, three wide. Single tight end in. Nearly intercepted and caught down the sideline. Cerritos with the break. Bailey Torres, the initial intended receiver, finally caught it after... Porter nearly came away with an interception for East LA and he had wide open space if he would have come up with that one. So third and about seven now at the 45 of the Huskies. 9.20 on the game clock, just underway. This is Cerrito's first possession on offense as they operate with three wide receivers on the right side. East LA comes in with the blitz, Makano. Right side caught first down across the 25. That's his big tight end. Jacob Lahia. Pickup of 12 there. So Cerritos definitely working out the kinks on offense. They've been shut out since their game on September 11th. The last time they scored was in the second quarter of that game. Whistle here at the 829 mark. And a timeout was called by Cerritos. We'll step aside. No score. 829 first quarter here on SportsNetUSA.net. Thursday night, Chuco football on Sportsnet USA. Brought to you by NutriShop of Monterey Park, your sports nutrition, weight loss, and vitamin experts. And by DG Sports, marketing and broadcasting, helping your company find a sound path. Cerritos approaching the red zone of the Huskies at the 829 mark of this first quarter. Meccano and the Falcons operate out of the gun. Run right, excellent pickup, about eight there. Jalon Manning continues to add up the yardage here in this first quarter. He's been able to find holes thus far. Clock continues to row, 8-13 and counting. First quarter, no score thus far. So Cerritos knows all too well about the COVID issue. Their game at home versus Southwestern last week is tentatively rescheduled for November the 20th as Manning continues to be aggressive on the ground as the Falcons pick up another first down. Just two yards from being inside the 10 yard line. We'll see how the ELAC defense holds up, and it's actually the strongest point or the strongest group, the strongest side of the ELAC squad. Last week in a loss against Saddleback, holding the, the offense to just 21 yards. Out of a pistol set, Meccano throws to his tight end, Lahia. Lahia instantly stoned. As soon as he caught it, gets back to the original line of scrimmage, second and 10. Clock reads 6.55 and rolling. First quarter. So the Falcons have yet to score a touchdown since the second quarter of their home game against Fullerton. That happened September the 11th. Cerritos, like Elac last week, went into the half with a 14-7 lead. Then they were skunked 20 to zero in the second half and since has not scored a touchdown. 
Nakano under center. Handoff, left side. This time a new running back is in. That's Davon Booth. Booth, decent pickup, about five inside the 10 now. Clock continues to tick. Under 6.05 now. So new running back also checking in for Cerritos. In at running back is Jalon Manning. He's lined up to the right-hand side of McConnell. McConnell taking his time, takes the snap, looking. Standing in the pocket, flushed out. Flags are thrown. He'll go towards the end zone. Well defended there. Tyler Brown able to get his hand in there. Let's see what the flag is about at the 528 mark of this first quarter. Holding against Cerritos. Yeah, I mean, McConnell had tons of time there. And typically, when the quarterback has so much time, the linemen tend to hold there. And so, Dean Grossfeld, the head coach of Cerritos, sending out the kicking unit now. This should be a chip shot. This should be from about 25 yards out. Mahorquez with the kick. Up and through. So Cerritos, the Falcons, open up the scoreboard at the 521 mark. 3-0 to zero from Weingart Stadium on the campus of East Los Angeles College. Thankful and grateful you could join us. Both teams looking to bounce back and get back to winning ways. Cerritos comes up with a victory. They'll go to 500 at 2-2. Two and two. East LA will get, be one game above 500. Looking to go 3-2 and two on the season. and A must-win situation for the Huskies as they look forward to conference play. This one is booted out of bounds. That'll be an illegal procedure, and East LA will get excellent field position on the error by the kicker. So both teams still fighting to get a touchdown into the end zone for East LA. The last time they scored on offense was at the 407 mark of the seven, uh, second quarter against Saddleback. A 39 yard touchdown run by Mason. So Treshawn McMillan now checks in at quarterback for the first time, a dual quarterback system is ran at East Los Angeles. Mason, right side, picks up six across the 40. That'll create a second and four now. 5.08 on the game clock. McMillan, of course, works well with his legs. He's that dual quarterback threat. Got to be able to contain him. Nearly gets Cerritos to jump. No flag, though, as McMillan now looks to the sideline. 
to offensive coordinator, Coach Drummond. Shifts over Mason to the right side on the play clock, eight seconds. Mason picks up the first across the 45. Pick up a five. So last week the offense was only able to convert three first downs on third down. And that's out of 13. Combine that with four turnovers, two interceptions, two lost fumbles. It wasn't pretty last week. Again, they went into the half 19-0 against Saddleback and then were skunked 30-0 in the second half. So a 30-19 loss on the road at Saddleback. McMillan takes the high snap, able to handle it. Tries to get around the edge on the right-hand side, able to push forward the pile to the 49, a pickup of three possibly. 3.35 on the game clock. So that drought by the Huskies last week into the second, second half was very unlike the Huskies. The Huskies are actually a top 10 scoring team, averaging 38 points per game, but held to 19 last week. McMillan getting the signals. East LA taking their time. Clock continues to wind down under three minutes. Four wide receivers. Mason on his left-hand side, looking left. Flushed out. Will go nowhere. Actually loses two yards. Third and nine now. That's probably something that McMillan has to work on is his patience in the pocket. He knows he could run well. That time just got a little too anxious and tried to bail too quickly. Had plenty of time. So 39 from the 47 yard line, 220 and counting. Trips to the far side, lone receiver near side. That's Richards by himself. McMillan standing tall in the pocket, throws to no one, incomplete. I believe that was intended for Guy McCarthy. That will bring, it, bring out the punting unit. 2.08 on the game clock, Cerritos 3, East LA nil thus far. Elak is just glad to be fielding a game finally after COVID issue after COVID issue. The first two games were actually threatened to be postponed or canceled when an ELAC player tested positive for COVID. Good thing head coach Bobby Godinas wears two hats and is also serving in his third year as ELAC's athletic director. So double duties for the man and, and double duties also call for tough policy Elac staying on top of the protocols, clear to go, clear to play, and here Cerritos will take over at the 159 mark of this first quarter. Their second time out on offense. So the last time Cerritos was actually on the field was September the 18th, a loss to Allen Hancock, a 15-6 loss. Meccano takes the snap, whistles before the snap. So Cerritos just taking too much time. That's part of the things that Cerritos has to work on is pre-snap. Against Allen Hancock, 11 penalties. Here from a pistol set, he'll go quickly. He'll keep it on the ground and it will go nowhere. Jalon Manning gets stoned behind the line of scrimmage and will lose a yard. 
Second and 17 now. East L.A. lines up with the three-man front, as they always do. End around towards us. Huskies all over it. The pack popping the 10 jersey of Bailey Torres out of bounds. Picks up about three. Third and long, third and 13 or so from the 18-yard line now with 50 seconds to go in this first quarter. 3-0 still. Cerritos on top here for some Thursday night football from Weingart Stadium. Here we are on the campus of East Los Angeles College. I'm Dan Gudino alongside our director, Albert Robles. Under 30 seconds, Cerritos taking their time. Makano looks right, draw. Up the middle, enough for the first down, and then some across the 35. Big first down. Davon Booth there with the carry. So that should bring us to the end of the first quarter, and it will. So Cerritos with a bit of momentum there. As we end the first quarter, Cerritos on top, 3-0 to here on Sportsnet, USA.net. Weingart Stadium is the site for Thursday night football on Sportsnet USA. Cerritos now will be attacking left to right. Start of the second quarter. I'm Dan Gudino. Really thankful and grateful you could join us on this Thursday night installment of Huskies football. As Kate McCono leads the Falcons out onto the field. McConnell, the quarterback, will be in charge of leading the offense and trying to break the scarcity of scoring. No touchdown since September 11th for Cerritos. They'll keep it with Booth on the left side. He'll pick up a decent amount of yardage. About six there across the 40 to the 41. Cerritos definitely has the right guy for the job, too, as far as getting some points on on the scoreboard, Makano from Los Alamitos High School. Definitely no wimp and knows adversity all too well. In his junior prep year at Los Al's, he played the whole season on an ACL tear from start to finish. So a tough guy there in Makano. He'll operate from a pistol set, no handoff. It's Booth, picks up the first, lunges forward, and. Gets to midfield there. First down, a pickup of eight. Clock reads 14 minutes, 15 seconds, and ticking. Second quarter, Cerritos on top. If you're just joining us or surprised to have found us, this ball game was actually supposed to be held last Saturday. And due to some COVID-related issues, as it... As reported by Sirwin D. Haynes, our sports information director, the game was moved to today. So week five continues. Lots of confusion there. Booth, left side, able to get another pickup. Decent pickup of about six. 
and into Husky territory now. Second and four now from the 44 yard line, but a flag is being discussed. Let's see what the call is. So add some more yards. So against Allen Hancock, Cerritos was only able to put up 196 yards of total offense. Here they're well on track to surpass that. And even in the run game, they were only able to pick up 22 yards, already destroying that yardage amount. Well above that. 13 minutes, 15 seconds to go. Bunch formation, four wide receivers. Makano looking right. Will throw right, complete at the 33-yard line, across the 25, and a late flag will come in. Calderello with the catch. And if that stands, that'll be a pickup of seven and another flag against East LA. Flags after the play. Is what hurt is was is what is hurting East LA now. 13.02 on the game clock. 3-0. Cerritos. So Cerritos pushed up to the 10-yard line and again threatening the Huskies. Interesting thing about Makano, the quarterback of Cerritos, he has six teammates from Los Alamitos. One in particular was Anthony Leomiti, his offensive Linemen still, still protecting them here at Cerritos. So that's pretty cool. Leo Miti, a tackle at Los Al's. Here he is playing tackle as well. Makano operating under center now. Single tight end on the left side. Booth, left side. That one gets blown up by the Huskies, a loss of one. So it'll be second and 12 from the 14. Approaching under 12 minutes now. From the pistol. Two running backs in the backfield. Play action. Makano underneath. Well defended. Javante Van Buren was able to chase the tight end and knock it down. So third and long now. So Cerrito still in search of a touchdown. The drought continues and it might extend. Clock standing still at 11.54 as Meccano lines up his Falcons with three wide. Three step drop. Will throw left side, wide open at the 10 yard line, just short of the first down yard marker by about three yards. Calderella, once again, with the second reception of the ball game. Fourth and about five now as the field goal unit will come onto the field, so no touchdown again for Cerritos.
This one also from about 25 yards out, up, and through. So now a 6-0 ball game. Cerritos Falcons on top. 11-01 in the second quarter here on Sportsnet USA.net. Elton back deep. Once again, will be kicked out of bounds. An illegal procedure will give the Huskies excellent field position. I wonder if he's doing it on purpose, knowing that Kadeem Richards able, is able to break one at any moment. He's already been able to return one to the house about two weeks ago. Took one for 89 yards into the end zone. So the Huskies will elect a re-kick. They'll negate the illegal procedure. So smart move by head coach Bobby Godinez. So a re-kick here by Cerritos. They'll look for more than to start at the 35-yard line. Trying to get aggressive here. The chess match. So Bohorquez will redo the kick. Richards and Felton back deep. It will be Richards from his five-yard line. Angling towards us. Across the 30, down the sidelines, and gets ripped out of bounds at the 45-yard line. Smart play by head coach Bobby Godinez to elect a re-kick instead of taking the free yards. 10-49, East LA trails, 6-0. Second quarter. This time it's Rudy Garcia who will get his chance at quarterback. Three man front by Cerritos. Cerritos able to get that extra man off the field too. Across the 50, bulldozing through. Steven Munoz with the pickup of 15 to the 40 yard line. Huskies go quickly. Trying to keep the momentum going. Munoz still lined up behind Garcia. Single tight end in. Keeper, Garcia, fumbles the ball and recovered by Cerritos. Garcia took a hit. First turnover of the game. There is a flag on the far sideline. So that's five turnovers in two games last week against Saddleback. The Huskies had two interceptions, two fumbles. Let's see what the call is. Face mask against Cerritos. That most likely will be, yeah, it happened after the fumble. So first down for Cerritos. Clock reads 10-22, second quarter. Oh, wait. Looks like the offense is regrouping, possibly. No. A discussion still going. So the face mask happened after the Cerritos recovery. So 
So that'll give more yards to Cerritos. They'll start at, the, at their own 40-yard line. Similar situation to last week for East LA where the defense just did not get a break. Three wide receivers in. They'll keep it on the ground. Right side. Another flag. So holding against Cerritos. On the clock, 10 minutes, 15 seconds, if you're asking. So both teams experiencing a drought on offense. Cerritos, although able to get field goals through, no touchdowns scored by them since the second quarter of their game September the 11th. Quick throw to the left side, complete. Calderello with the catch. That's his third reception of the ball game. Van Buren with his third tackle in this one. Clock continues to tick, 9.20 and rolling. Makano under center now. Dual tight end set. They'll run it left. And it will go nowhere. The pack all over that one. That was Jonathan Laugo. That'll create third and long still. No gain there. So it's been almost a month since Cerritos has been on the field. September the 18th was the last time they were on the field. Lawako fumbles the ball. East LA might have recovered. They're pointing as if they have it. No signal yet by the officiating crew. A scuffle ensues over the dog pile. Coach Bobby Godinez asking his players to get off the field, and it will be Husky football. So turnover for turnover. Punch for punch they go here in the second quarter. 8-12 remains. So when we come back, East LA will take the field on offense. SportsnetUSA.net. Give me like a 20 second breather. I'm starting to get kind of... He's in at quarterback. He'll hand off to Munoz. Though. Munoz cuts it back and gets stoned at the 29-yard line. Able to pick up the first down, though. Gain of 11. On the clock, eight minutes and rolling. So the last time the Huskies were on the board was the 11:25 mark of the second quarter on the road at Saddleback last week. Munoz again gets popped by two defenders, possibly picks up two yards to the 29. The 
The Huskies last week were able to pick up plenty of yardage, plenty of first downs. They had up to 18 first downs. Just couldn't get anything going in the second quarter, the second half that is. McMillan will call his own number. Jonathan Fuamatu with the tackle. Got an injured player on the field. That's a Cerritos player. We'll step aside. 6.47 on the game clock. 6-0. Cerritos in the lead. The injured player was the sophomore from Bellflower High School, um, Amari Okeke. As he limps off the field. 6.47 on the game clock. McMillan and the Huskies attacking. Three wide receivers now. McMillan. Steps up, avoids a defender, a clear face mask. Even from up here, you could see it. Victor Clayton put his hand all over McMillan's face mask, and another flag comes in. Late extracurricular activity by the Falcons. That will aid the Huskies. That'll most likely push up the Huskies even more on top of the face mask. So they might be inside the 10 yard line after the zebra discussion on the field. We'll wait and see. So both penalties will be applied. Yeah, as the PA guy says, unsportsmanlike conduct and a face mask will be applied. So that'll bump East LA to the nine yard line as expected. So first and goal for the first time for East LA. 6.26 on the game clock. East LA thirsty for a touchdown. It's been three quarters since East LA has been in the end zone. McMillan last week Just two of four here looking to improve on his numbers. Very unlike McMillan. Hard count, nearly gets Cerritos to jump, they'll reset things.
The snap. It'll be Pedro Amasu. Amasu able to evade defenders, but too much dancing will get him pushed out of bounds and possibly loses a yard. Huskies line up quickly at the line. Amausu, the running backs, stays in the backfield. Interesting offense by East LA. Stand around, already lined up in their formation as they receive the play from the sideline. This time a pistol set and a timeout will be called by East LA. On the clock, 519 in this second quarter. Cerritos 6, East LA 0 here on SportsNetUSA.net. Out of the timeout, East LA on a second and goal from the 11 yard line. Previous play net them a negative yard. And it was actually East LA who called timeout, not Cerritos. So both teams with two timeouts left. McMillan towards the end zone, up for grabs, incomplete. So this most likely will be their last try on this possession to get something into the end zone. East LA lines up with three wide. Tight end lined up to the right hand side. Towards the end zone, back shoulder pass, caught. Touchdown, Huskies. Trying to get a read for the jersey. It's the 14 jersey. So Kobe Stribling. So a 12 yard connection. McMillan to Stribling. Hold is good, kick is up. Through. East LA takes the lead. 7 6 over Cerritos. 5 08 remains in this first half. This is Huskies football on Sportsnet USA. The boot of Christian Reyes will finally be on display. Typically gets everything into the end zone. Booms this one. It'll be fielded at the five. Plenty of space.
with the return, Bailey Torres there. Clock reads exactly five minutes in the second quarter. One point game, Elak with the lead. Reminder, this broadcast brought to you by NutriShop of Monterey Park, your sports nutrition, weight loss, and vitamin experts. Pistol set here, two wide, double tight ends. They keep it on the ground with Booth. Booth picks up about three. Manages to get to the 38, second and seven. 4.45 to go. Van Buren once again in the picture, getting another tackle for the Huskies. Here a bunch formation. McConnell looking left, will throw left. Down the sideline, too far, too long. Third and seven now. So the ELAC defense last week was stout in the run game. They only allowed 21 yards through the ground, so that was super impressive. You had turnovers by the offense and bad field position pinned the defense, and I think exhaustion came into play. Here, a flag will come in. A false start, I believe, will be called against Cerritos. I believe the offensive line jumped as soon as Jonathan Perkins crept up to the line. He likes to th threaten you with a few hops towards you, likes to jump towards you, trying to get you to jump early. That time it worked to perfection. It was Jonathan Perkins who probably caused it. Perkins is somebody you could put almost anywhere on the line at at linebacker, as this one is completed enough for the first down. The post to the middle. DeJour Smith with the catch there. That was a gain of nine to the 47. As we approach the 350 mark of the second quarter. Jalon Manning back at running back, lined up to the right-hand side. He'll swing to the right side. It is Manning who gets lit up there. As soon as he caught the ball, picks up one, second and nine from the 48. Under 325 now. If I'm Cerritos, I'm going to try to milk the clock for all it's worth at this point and try to leave no time for the Huskies. Looking at the East Los Angeles defensive front, it's hard not to try to run on it. You tend to line up with three men on the line as Booth gets his number called. Up the gut, only picks up one yard Third and long again. Under 240 now. We'll see at what point the clock becomes the enemy of Cerritos. Here they're taking their time, still huddling. Approaching 220 on the clock and rolling. Out of a pistol set, three wide. They'll keep it on the ground with Booth. Booth able to squeeze through, picks up about five. 
Three yards short of the first down yard marker. This will be interesting to see what they elect to do. They'll be looking to punt it away, actually, so not trying to risk anything here, not trying to risk field position as East Los Angeles will try to retain as much clock as possible and call timeout at the 150 mark of this second quarter. East Los Angeles in the lead, 7-6 over Cerritos. SportsNetUSA.net. Guy McCarthy standing at the 10 yard line. Cerritos will be punting, high snap. Good wobbler. Fielded at the 14 yard line. A minute 43 to go for East Los Angeles. We'll stay on the air here. East Los Angeles, typically a high scoring squad. Last week held to 19 points. On the season, averaging 38 points per game. Typically a fast scoring squad. Not the case, Falcons putting up a fight here. They're looking to go 500 on the season. Munoz up the middle between the hashes and picks up about five. Across the 20 to the 21 yard line, second and five. A minute 25, East LA will move quickly as Rudy Garcia is back at quarterback. Of course, East LA operating a dual quarterback system. Here four wide receivers. Garcia looks left, throws left, incomplete. Luntumbe dropped that one. Seventy-seven seconds on the clock. We'll see if East LA gets aggressive here and tries to get the first down yard. Or do they stay conservative? They'll go for it. Garcia, well over the head of his intended receiver, Guy McCarthy, late flag comes in. Might have been a dumb penalty. Not sure what happened there. As 65 seconds remain. So a freebie for East LA. That'll push the Huskies to the 36 yard line. We'll see how well East LA operates under two minutes here. Munoz gets shifted to the left side of Garcia. High snap, Garcia able to handle. He'll roll out. Still looking, fires away too high. Incomplete, well defended. Demario King, the, the product from Los Alamitos, able to defend that one. Second and 10. 
55 ticks remain in this second quarter. On this season, Garcia officially well over 600 yards now. Garcia surveyed the defense. Now comes back towards the near side to his offensive coordinator, Coach Drummond. Completes this time. McCarthy with the catch into Falcon territory. Big pickup of 16 to the 48 yard line. 49 seconds and ticking now. East LA will have to move faster now. Spread formation. Garcia still running around, pointing at where he wants his players to go. Garcia will take off himself. Nearly gets the first down. We'll stop the clock at 25 seconds. And a second and one now from the 41 yard line of the Falcons. Garcia is not known as the fast running quarterback. That's McMillan's row. They're taking a page out of McMillan's book. So much time for Garcia in that play. Huskies will line up with three wide receivers to the near side, lone receiver far side. Munoz lined up to his left hand side. Cerritos will send four. Plenty of time over the middle, incomplete. The slant route nearly works. So Huskies need a yard to get the first down. We'll see if they keep it on the ground or if the urgency will keep it, keep it on the air. 21 seconds to go. Out of the gun. Keeper, Garcia, baseball slides to a first down. Clock will be stopped. And the Huskies will call a timeout. I believe they have one remaining with 15 seconds to go. We'll step aside when we come back. The end of the first half. Huskies 7, Cerritos 6, Sportsnet, USA.net. Out of the timeout, that was actually the Huskies' last timeout. Scoreboard reads one more. That's not the case. So they'll have to go ultra quick now with 15.1 to go. Munoz shifted to Garcia's left side as he looks left. Will throw to Munoz. Munoz spins and gets popped. So East LA did have a timeout on the board. Now they have no timeouts. So this will be a 49 yard field goal attempt by East LA and Christian Munoz. 
but there's a discussion. I feel it might be about the timeouts. So hold on a second. The Zebras always know best. I thought I was keeping good track of timeouts. I knew something was off. Let's see what the call is. So Cerritos is actually the ones who call timeout, trying to ice the kicker here. Trying to get the kicker deep in his head. So this one will be from 49 yards out. As we zoom out to give you a better picture. Munoz will be iced again and another timeout by Cerritos. That will be their final timeout. The chess match continues. Mind games being thrown out there now. So on the year, Christian Reyes, four of six. His longest was from 47. He's perfect with extra points. We all know too well what he does on kickoffs. He always boots them into the end zone. Here from 49 yards out, the snap, the hold is good. The line drive kick, well off, wide left. That will bring us to the end of the first half. East Los Angeles will go into the locker room with a thin one-point lead, 7-6 over the Cerritos Falcons. This is Huskies Football on Sportsnet USA, brought to you by NutriShop of Monterey Park, your sports nutrition, weight loss, and vitamin experts, and by DG Sports Marketing and Broadcasting, helping your company find a sound path. Not so fast. We've got some whistles being blown by the officiating crew. So they're going to put some time on the clock, I believe. They'll put a tick or two. I'm trying to read the body language of the officiating crew, and I believe the clock was supposed to be stopped as soon as the signal for no good was given. So it'll be Cerritos football. We'll see if they heave one towards the end zone or they'll elect to run it out. So one second on the clock. Not so fast. <laughs> I always tell everybody, the zebras always know best. Empty set. They'll try to heave one. Meccano throws. Out of bounds. Now we can go into the locker rooms. Seven, six. Huskies with the lead. This is Sports Net USA. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in about 15 minutes. East Los Angeles College Huskies football on sportsnetusa.net is brought to you by NutriShop of Monterey Park. NutriShop Monterey Park is our local health and wellness store with guaranteed low prices and free body composition testing and free meal planning. NutriShop of Monterey Park as we welcome you into Weingart Stadium on the campus of East L.A. College. Start of the second half. 
East LA Huskies against the Cerritos College Falcons. Munoz will be booting. This one's a short one. Fielded at the 20. And instantly licked. Excellent tackle by East LA's very own Damon Callahan. He lit up Shane Olden Jr. on that, who was the recipient of the hit. Cerritos in the first half netted 84 yards rushing, 65 through the air, only 149 yards total. They controlled the time of possession, holding the ball nearly 20 minutes, 1928. As McConnell comes back out on offense, this time he'll line up in a pistol set. And a false start instantly called. Oh, actually a delay. That's the second one against Cerritos this ball game. So Cerritos is four yards away from netting over 100 yards in penalty yardage. Straight up the gut and a spin off the tackle. With the carry, Luago, Pinelli Luago. Decent pickup of about seven there. Creates second and about eight now. Just underway in this second half, 14 minutes, 20 seconds, and rolling. East LA on top. East LA trying to go to three and two. Cerritos trying to go to 500 at two and two. Luago, the dock pack all over that one. He'll get forward progress and manages to get back to the line of scrimmage. Third and eight now. We'll most likely see McConnell throw the ball. He actually did pretty decent in the first half. Was 10 of 14, 65 yards. As we're back on air, They'll go for it, a pooch punt. Excellent bounce for Cerritos. So East LA will take over deep in their own territory with a minute 46. This is Sportsnet USA. Rudy Garcia back being the signal caller. He'll hand off near side. Pedro Mausu with a decent pick of about six. Second and four from the 14 now. Previous possession netted a field goal by Christian Munoz. Mausu gets shifted to the right side. It'll be a Mausu. And again, he'll cut it towards us. This time, picking up a few inches there. Third and four, under a minute 20 now in this third quarter. A Mausu checks out, and Munoz will check in for East LA at running back. This was a quick moving third quarter. We're already under 60 seconds. Munoz in motion. 
Swing pass to Munoz. Munoz with some momentum pushes forward and manages to get two. Fourth and two as Bobby Godinez will not risk it and play the game of field position. Back deep to receive for Cerritos is Amari Okeke. We'll see if Elak elects to punt it away or will let the clock run out. They'll boot it, low snap. Decent end over end kick, takes a Husky bounce. It'll be down at the 36 yard line where the Falcons will take over when we come back. The start of the final quarter, East LA 10. Cerritos 6. This is Sportsnet USA's live coverage of Huskies football. Previous play was a run by Jalon Manning, a pickup of two yards. Falcons fighting to get something on the board now. Final quarter. Meccano will hand off. This time it's Booth. Booth still on his feet. Being dragged by one of his offensive linemen forward. <laughs> The big boys doing the work. Gain of five there, third and three from the 42 now. Falcons checking out four players, checking in four players. Trying to stay fresh late in this fourth quarter. They'll go three wide, tight end lined up on the right-hand side. Elak bunches the line. They won't blitz in. It's a swing pass. Near side, gets blown up. Booth with the catch. Vincent Paro with the tackle. So that was a quick three and out for Cerritos. At this point, you get a sense if East Los Angeles could get on the board with the TD, that might do it in this one. Falcons on a drought. Oh, this one might get blown up, and it does. The punt never goes off. It's picked up at the 25 into the end zone. Touchdown, Huskies. Pedro Amausu picked up the football at the 25 as the punter was never able to get it off. That was Adrian Delgadillo 
who was not able to boot it out, but a discussion going on on the far sideline. Head coach of the Falcons, Grossfeld, pleading his case. We'll see what the judges call. Clock stands at 12.39. And that might be the dagger if it stands. The question is, did Del Gadil fumble during the tackle or was he down? The fumble recovery into the end zone will stand. East LA, 16. Cerrito, 6. Add the extra point. So it's still a two-score game, but it gets really difficult at this point. Cerritos will now need two touchdowns and two point conversions. Two two-point conversions, that is. If they want to tie, at least. So special teams... Comes up with a big play for East Los Angeles. The punter of Cerritos, Abraham Delgadillo, was just not able to get the punt off, then was chased from behind, taken down on the far sideline where he fumbled, and Pedro Amasu was at the right place at the right time and took it to the house 25 yards. That's where we stand. East LA 17, Cerritos 6, 12.39 to go. Munoz swings the leg. And it'll be a touchback. When we come back, Cerritos will try to stay alive. On the game clock, 12 minutes, 39 seconds. East LA in front, comfortably now, 17 to six. Meccano, all sorts of time, will go deep, has a man, and an intelligent defensive play. <laughs> sure, it'll be a pass interference, sure it'll be a holding, but that might have been taken to the house if a jersey wasn't held. Cameron Dean will be called on that pass interference. The receiver was held up by Smith, by, excuse me, by Dean on purpose. So instead of a touchdown, East LA gives up 15. Not bad of a trade. 12.31 on the game clock. High snap. It's Booth. Gets eating up in the backfield. Javion Warren with the tackle. Also aiding on the tackle was Hector Espinoza. Second and 11 now from the 39. 
So the offense hasn't done much for East LA. It's been the defense with great field position and special teams just stepped up. Meccano has a man wide open, caught at the 15 and he fumbles it. Picked up at the seven. It's actually gonna be waved and called incomplete. Jeez. So the Falcons have found a soft spot on the ELAC defense. Two of the last three plays could have been deep passes into the end zone. East LA once again gets lucky. On the clock, 11 minutes, 35 seconds to go. Third and long. McConnell, swing pass. Fumble recovered by East. So they finally get the turnover they were looking for. Fumble was recovered by Christian Guerrero. Most likely the Huskies will try to stay aggressive and completely pull away on this one. McMillan will take over at quarterback. It's his turn. Dual quarterback system implemented at East LA. Bunch formation for wide from a pistol set. Mason with the carry. Picks up about two, second and eight. East LA will most likely milk the clock for all it's worth now. Swing pass. Avoiding defenders, but going nowhere. Third and eight now from the 43. Fourth quarter. East LA taking their time. Over the middle, it's McCarthy with the first down. The route over the middle works to perfection, but a flag in the backfield. Oh, that'll negate the big gain holding against East LA. Game clock being held at 9.46. 11 point game. Huskies backed up to the Falcon 48 now. Officials asking for the game clock to roll. But 
but the play clock was ticking. Already under five seconds to go. McMillan will have to hurry here. Rolls out. And will be sacked. Oh, gets it off in time. Mason on his feet. Mason down the sideline. <laughs> What would have been a disaster, nets a few yards. Gain of three. Fourth and long. Huskies will boot it away now. <laughs> Back deep, Omari OKK for Cerritos. Mausu So East LA trying to get fancy here. So that'll be a turnover on downs. Eight forty one on the game clock. Cano still at quarterback from a pistol. Booth, right side run, picks up five. You hear the Falcons fans asking for a pass. Second and five from the 42 now, as the clock continues to wind under 8.05 now. Time's running out on the Falcons. Meccano, three-step drop. Rifles one to the outside, complete. Bailey Torres with the catch. A pickup of 18 there. Falcons quickly into Husky territory now. As the Huskies bring in fresh bodies. Four wide here. Cerritos keeps it conservative. Get a sense that play action is about to be unleashed right now. Wouldn't be surprised if the Falcons take a shot deep here or in the next play. Under seven minutes now. Booth gets shifted behind McConnell. Run right again. Booth manages another four yards to his total. Third and about two now. So a two score game. A touchdown. A two-point conversion and a field goal would tie it up. 6.15 and rolling. Double tight end set here. Two tight ends to the far side. They'll run it to the far side. Enough of the first down, lunging forward to the 32-yard line. 
Pinelli Luago with the carry. Clock continues to tick, tick, tick on the Falcons. 5.40 left in this one. No sense of urgency from the Falcons yet as they line up with four wide receivers. Snap, quick pass. Complete for eight yards. That's Bailey Torres with his second reception in this possession. Second and two from the 24 now. It's score or die here for the Falcons. They keep it on the ground and East LA all over that one. Jonathan Perkins with the tackle. Perkins has an excellent nose for the ball. He tends to find slits through the offensive line and he's fast as can be. His long arms grab a hold of you and, and won't let you go. He leads the Huskies in ta tackles with 30 now on the season and leads the team in sacks as well with four. Taylor and the Huskies facing a four wide receiver front from Cerritos and it's complete inside the five. DeJore Smith with the big pickup. He's down inside the five yard line, grimacing in pain, trying to get up. We'll step aside for an injury timeout. East LA 17, Cerritos 6, 3. Welcome back to Weingart Stadium. This is Sportsnet USA's live coverage of Huskies football. Pistol set, two wide. On the ground, Cerritos Falcons will go into the end zone. Touchdown, Falcons. Still alive. Husky 17, Cerritos 12. Do you go for two here? I say you do. They will go as the field goal or the PAT unit will jog back off the field. Makano looks like he'll line up under center. Split backs. The snap. Play action. Rolling out into the end zone. Caught. Lahia. Two point conversion. Good. Falcons in the hunt. East LA 17. Falcons 14. Don't go anywhere. Stick around. 345 remains. Sports net USA.net.
Week five, this one's booted deep. And will bounce into the end zone. Touchback. East LA takes over after Cerritos marched down the field and made this interesting. Now a three point ball game. So the East Los Angeles offense will need a couple of first downs if they expect to squeak by Cerritos now. Preferably some points. 3.45 on the game clock. Rudy Garcia and the Huskies back out on offense. Munoz in the backfield lined up to the right-hand side of Garcia. It will be Munoz, and he gets blown up in the backfield. Loss of two. Second and 12 now. The Falcons' sideline is excited as can be. East LA trying to run away from this one. Trying to milk the clock for all it's worth. 10 seconds on the play clock. Under 305 to go. Munoz runs near, near side. And a timeout called by the Falcons. Intelligent play there by Grossfeld, head coach of Cerritos. 256 remains in this one. Out of the timeout from the Falcons. East LA now in a third and long. Third and 14 to be exact from their own 21. We'll see what they do here with four wide receivers. They're going for it. Being chased. Garcia finds a man. It won't be enough of the first down. Kobe Stribling picks up about six yards, seven yards. Nowhere near the first down yard marker. Fourth and five. As the clock continues to wind down under 225 and ticking. East LA just taking their time. According to the scoreboard, Cerritos has one timeout left. Special teams cannot afford a botched snap here. The wobbler. Fair catch. Final minute 49. Falcons will either try to tie it or win it here. After the botch punt from the Falcons, which resulted in a fumble and score by East LA, we got the sense this one was over. Not so fast. 
Pass to the outside, incomplete, second and 10. Clock reads a minute 45. If you stuck around this whole game, we're really thankful and grateful for that. We appreciate your time. As, as Meccano and the Falcons lined up in a spread. Meccano looking right, looking left. Will roll out. Plenty of time. Will call his own number and does the smart move of running out of bounds. Pick up a five, third and five. A minute 35 on the game clock. Ball marked at the 46 now. Four down territory. Cano over the middle, has a man open across the 40. Plenty for the first down. Pickup of 21 there and into Husky territory. Clock is held. Now is restarted at 120. Makano, quick pass outside. Flag in the backfield. That might be costly there. That was Brendan Hodge with the catch on the outside, but let's see what the flag is about. Holding against Cerritos. So that'll leave 68 seconds. Hands to the face was actually the call against the Falcons. That might have been the costliest error from the Falcons' side as we got a first and 24 now. Meccano finds a man across the 40, taken down at the 35. They get back the lost yardage and then five more yards. Bailey Torres with his fourth catch in this fourth quarter. McConnell under center, spikes it intelligently with 28 seconds to go. That'll bring up a third and about six or seven. Second and seven from the 35. Falcons with four wide. Makano flushed out near side, lobs it up, throws it out of bounds. Fourth down now. So they will need a first down here if they want to get into some sort of field goal range. I don't believe their kicker has the strength to get this one through from this point. Biggest play of the game. Could be the last play of the game for the Falcons on offense. 22 seconds to go. Fourth and seven. Makano pumps, avoids a rush, throws far side. Good tackle, turnover on downs. Cameron Dean with the tackle. 
with the catch was Jalon Manning. That'll do it. East LA will most likely line up in victory formation and take a knee. Into the first few minutes of the fourth quarter, we didn't think this was going to get this close. Not at all. A low scoring affair this evening. As McMillan takes the knee. That will do it. East Los Angeles escapes at home, coming away with a 17-14 victory over the Cerritos Falcons. The Falcons will move to 1-3 on the season. East Los Angeles moves to 3-2 on the season. So the Huskies will be on a bye They won't be back here until the 16th of October when they will face Allen Hancock. That game will be brought to you by SportsnetUSA.net and will be a 4 p.m. start since the Bulldogs of Allen Hancock have to travel from Santa Maria to East Los Angeles. This one, a final. Wasn't pretty for both sides, but East L.A. manages to make plays. And I would say the biggest play of the game was that botch punt scoop and score by East Los Angeles. With the touchdown was Pedro Amausu. Amausu was able to get the scoop and score and put the game away at 17 as Coach Bobby Godinez gets showered by the bucket. This one a final. East LA comes away with victory number three and they snap their two game skid. For all our sponsors for NutriShop of Monterey Park, for DG Sports Marketing and Broadcasting and by IR Business Inc. We say thank you for joining us this evening. Don't forget to join us October 16th for a 4 p.m. start here on Sportsnet USA. Good night.